All right, continue here. Uh, when I'm hi, when I'm doing this, I'll be using this side of my face for uh, my words, and when I do the Muslims, this side, <laughs> the other side. When I'm uh, and plus a mock Arabic accent here, so I'll continue here. Okay, I'll continue here. Get somebody who does and find the original text of the Hadith either in, at the library or online. Didn't you tell me I was wrong about Sunan Abu Dawud 2, 2150? Well, how do you know if you don't know Arabic yourself? Are you taking some Muslim's word that i wrong about it? And you feel they aren't the Kiaing if they said that, true? How, how do you know? Again, if you don't know Arabic, how do you know I'm wrong about Dawud 2, 2150? Did you lie again? there and just did you lie again there and just say that i lied about that without any evidence on your part i am telling you where you are dropping the ball and your translation of the hadith is purposely purposely faulty oh where is that sunan abu dawud 2 2050 on the net to go to to verify and show you aren't taking line for allah don't make me do your homework because you will not believe me again Who's, who was the one who said, who was the one here who said, quote, in the presence of their husbands who were disbelievers, or unbelievers, non-Muslims, was not in Dawud 2, 2150? How would you know that if I'm lying, how, how would you know that if I'm lying and there is a 2, 2150 to go to and verify on the internet? How? Or again, has your tikiya line for old Allah, uh, been found out again? It is you who claim the hadith says in the presence of their husbands, right? I do claim that for every Sunan Abu Dawud 2 20 and 50 I go to on the net says so. You have to take me to one that doesn't say it to prove those Dawud 2 20 and 50s are wrong. So why don't you? And supposedly the one he took me to, with that said, not in the presence of their husbands, but uh, uh, because their uh, because their husbands were polytheists, was not Dawid. It was again Muslim, eight thirty four or thirty two. So he tried to pull a switch. Uh, he tried to pull a fast one here. Which begs the question. How, which begs the question. How come the only way Islam can be defended is through lies, and twisting things and giving false uh you know information yeah you think they would think hmm seems kind of like something you do for satan you know i mean to lie for it you know oh well i'll continue here so it is you who has the burden of proof not me wrong i presented that passage all the time the ball has been in your court from the beginning since the first time i cut and pasted it since you say it's not there, well, uh, take us to Adawa 2, 20 and 50, and with Arabic, that can be Google translated. Again, the ball is in your court. You said it's not there. You know. Well, how do you know if you have the complete Dawud to prove the ones I found on the internet to be wrong? By the way, you mentioned the library. You mentioned library. The library I went to didn't have one, but I know one that does, and I'll be going to it and videotaping what I find. I was going to go to the Berkeley Library, UC Berkeley. They don't have it. Uh, there's a Baptist place that has it, believe it or not. And there is um, the library down in uh, Santa, um, Santa Barbara at the university there. So, might, I might go over there, see here. Okay, the library I went to, yeah, the library I went to didn't have one, but I know one that does, and I will be going to it to videotape and find it. Also, and videotape when I find it. Also, since I discovered this first on Acts 17 Apologetics, I'll contact them and have them tape that part of Dawood and have them put it on in YouTube in case the library I go to doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> Uh, regarding your claim about giant fish, flying donkey, etc., let me tell you this. I am a convert. <laughs> Why did you convert? You like pulling out a prayer rug five times a day, to, every day, for the rest of your life to stick your patootie up in the air? Why would you want to do something like that? 
I went through all these before converting. I went through all these before converting. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. You only went through all this before, huh? All right. Was it, uh, what was it that convinced you? Uh, you don't believe the Earth is rotating and do believe that the Sun is orbiting and can ca can't catch up to the Moon to create the solar eclipse? You, you mean you do believe the Sun and Moon travel in chariots? And that the sol a solar eclipse occurs uh, when the Sun falls out of its chariot? Y you mean, Quran 36, 40-42 is right about the Sun and Moon traveling in boats similar to their offspring Noah? You sure that embryos are clots of congealed blood? Well, if you believe all that, I think I really, I think I really have been wasting my time talking with you. Sorry, I, I feel I've been wasting my time. I, I don't know if you are stupid, but if you believe all that, and that is why you became a Muslim, man, you are wacky. It's Sahih, son. Uh, uh, Allah knows, Allah knows the best. If these hadiths are really authentic or not. Oh. Uh, when it's Sahih, uh, authentic hadith, uh, that's not authentic? It's Sahih, sound authentic hadith. That has Satan sleeping in your nose and a rock running off of Moses' clothes to uh, have Moses angrily run off naked at him and strike at it. You know, instead of saying, what the hell is this rock running off of my clothes, you know? It's the Sahih, authentic, that has Muhammad saying, if you eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. It's a Sahih, authentic, that has Muhammad saying, the sun, after running to a resting place, seeks a permission to rise again after prostrating under the throne of Allah. Those are Sahih, authentic, which means that since 90% of Muslims are Sunnis and have to believe in the Hadith, well, they have, been, they have to believe this. And since I'm going to take you at your word, when you said, I went through all this before converting, well, then you do believe those things from the authentic, don't you? Thus, it's really pointless for me to continue talking with you, isn't it? I mean, if 2 plus 2 to you is 5, and there is no way of convincing you it's 4, why should I continue talking with you? What, what, is, what is the point? There are over 6,000 verses in the Quran. These are hun these, there are hundreds of thousands of hadith. And you pick on, on a handful one, you must translate 2150, but ignore 2155. How hypocritical. Oh, does, uh, two one, does 2155 mention Quran 424? He's talking about Dawud again. Dawud 2, 2150. If it does, does it contradict Dawud? Does it contradict to 2150, uh, what it says in Dawud? You know, as soon I'll be Dawud. How do you know? Where is that 2155 you mentioned? I can go to where I can see 21 to 2150. Where? Because you think you can manipulate them. If bringing attention to them and how they let Muslims have sex with captured women in the presence of their husbands who are disbelievers or unbelievers, non muslim is manipulating to you, you have a disease on your heart and Allah has made it worse uh, for you because you recognize no boundaries. Wrong! For when I come upon Sahih, sound authentic hadith, Yeah, that has Satan sleeping in your nose and a rock ring off with Moses' clothing so Moses would angrily run off naked and strike at that stone instead of thinking, what the hell is a stone running off, you know, with my clothes, you know. Or when I come upon the Sahih sound authentic that has Muhammad saying, if you eat seven Ajwa dates in the morning, you'll be protected all day from both magic and poison. Or I come upon the Sahih authentic that has Muhammad saying the sun, after running to a resting place, seeks permission to rise again. Hey, if that's a disease in my heart, to come upon them and end up thinking Islam is a bunch of stupid, a bunch of stupid crap as well as satanically evil, well, whose fault is that? I certainly didn't write Quran 424 and how it's reported handed down in Dawud and Muslim, for one thing. I never, I've ne I have never heard of a giant fish called Nun where earth spread out on it.
Oh, is that why you continue to have your patootie up in the air five times a day, every day on a prayer rug? And I could not care less. Oh, so you do care. Uh, because it is not in the Quran. Not in the Quran. Oh, 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 actually, going back to being a Qurani again, huh? Don't believe in the Hadith anymore, even though you said you did. Oh, okay, what, a part, what about the part of the Quran that mentions the nun when talking about the pen? What is that all about? If the Hadith, if the Hadiths that talk about them and the fish are wrong. Surat Yasin says, all planets swim in an orbit. And if you read Al Tabari, you find out that they're really they're literally swimming in an orbit. It's a sea of water held over our heads by the power of Allah, so that not a drop should fall. You think there really is a sea over our heads uh, for the sun, moon, and planets to literally swim in and have boats to travel in? You know, yeah. like, uh, boats like Noah's Ark. This is enough for me, and uh, perfectly aligns with science. <laughs> You think, you think, if I saw a part of the sky falling, I'd say, it's merely clouds? You think the sky can fall on us? Yeah, you think the sky is held up by invisible pillars because it's held up by the power of Allah? You, you think the sky is a canopy or a ceiling? Uh, so if, 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 if a part of it should fall, I would say it's merely clouds? You, you sure? Regarding the blood cloth. I think it's blood cloth. Uh, becoming babies. You are talking about Sarah al -Arak. Right. Arak, Arak, Arak in Arabic means a leech-like substance that clings and sucks blood like a parasite. If true, how come the Quran is called the clot and not the clinging leech substance that, you know, that sucks blood like a uh, parasite? How come in just about all English versions of the Quran it says it's made from a, a clots of congealed blood, blood clot? Are they in conspiracy to make the Quran sound like it was written by a caveman? By the way, can you find one Quran written before we knew that embryos were not blood clots? And if you find one, will it say clinging leech or, or for, 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 uh, for a clot of congealed blood? Where is that Quran in English, you know, written before, about, before we knew about embryology, you know, that says uh, clinging leech instead of the clot or for the clot of congealed blood? That, embryos become. See, I think, I think, I had to stop it. Yeah, better.